Uh, first of all, Kenny, is there any update on transfer news? No, nothing. Uh, we're still actively trying to bring in um, one, maybe two players, but it's been, it's been difficult. You know, everybody's, as I said last week, everybody's in the same boat and they're all looking to try and, I think, try and get the same players, you know, but I mean, there's, uh, there's a little while to go before the end of January and we've still got, as I said, February with the emergency loan, so I'm not really too um, concerned at the moment because, I mean, after Saturday's performance was, was certainly pleasing, so... Uh, we'll, we'll just see where that takes us. You had a couple of trialists out against Rangers on Tuesday. One of them was Armandoni up front. How did you assess their, their impact? Um, he's, he's been at Kilmarnock for five weeks and um, he's just a little bit away from match fitness. But certainly he's a, he's a different type of striker than we have at the, at the moment. And it was a good opportunity against a, a really strong Rangers side to uh, uh, evaluate not just him, but with a couple of other trialists playing who, who we've had a look at for. Um, couple of weeks now and it was a, a, a good game in which to, for them to play so we could have a look at them you know but we'll, uh, we'll leave these ones just now because there's nothing um, nothing going to happen with these ones now. Arman one's an experienced player <coughs> excuse me who as I say been at Kilmarnock for five weeks I remember him from his time at Thistle and uh, Wraith Rovers and he's certainly got himself into a better shape than he was uh, when there because he's lost a, a, little bit, a bit of weight he's been playing over in Finland I just thought he was a different type of striker than what we have just now, but we'll see what develops on that one, but uh, no, no business so far. Excellent. Um, you got a point in the 1-1 draw at the Fairman last Saturday, extended the being run to five games. Did you feel you saw one of your just better performances this season? Yeah, I said that after the game, you know, I, I felt we, we should have won the game. Um, similar to the Livingston game, I felt we played better against the Fairman than we did against Livingston. Um, you know, but we, we, we keep a little run going, but I'm repeating myself again, but I, th I think we, we need to win more games. And although the performance was good, we still come off the park at Dunfermline with uh, a point which uh, will not be any good to us. You know, points between now and the end of the season um, to remain un undefeated between now and the end of the season t in terms of if we draw every game, uh, it will not be good enough. So um, you know, we certainly need to uh, take the performance from from, from Saturday and, and just try and add some goals. And, it's amazing what a couple of victories will do for a position in the league. Absolutely. Stephen McDougall and Joe Cardell showed the, the dynamic wing play that can be offered by those types of players. How difficult is it to get them consistently performing at that level every week? Well, I think it's, it's, it's difficult to get them both playing as they did on Saturday. I think that's probably one, once uh, for, for a number of weeks that we've had them both playing uh, consistently and, and positively as we did. Uh, and, th and there'll be a handful for any team in this division, you know, and we've had to wait a little while to get that consistency from them. And I feel that they're starting to get there, and that's why I've persisted going with them for the majority of the season. And uh, I feel that they, they do bring something to the team and with their, their, their pace and their energy from the wide areas. And, you know, it's up to us to... Uh, their final ball could be better at times, but certainly when they are producing the goods and putting decent deliveries into the box, we've got to exploit that by taking these chances. And, and not only for, for them um, making chances, I think they've got to chip in with a few goals as well, and I think I've, I've mentioned that. But certainly the, the performance for everyone on Saturday was really pleasing, and you know um, it gives you hope that, that there's something there this season that we can you know, go on a little run now and, and get back in the pack. Uh, down here, the visitors to New Broomfield this weekend, there's been two draws between the two teams this season. What are your thoughts ahead of that one? Well, I feel that both games, um, the, the first one, we're probably fortunate here to, to get a nil-nil. I think with the, the contribution that Stephen Robertson gave us, uh, earned us the point. Um, and certainly the performance up at Dens Park, we, we, I thought we should have won that one, you know. Uh, first half in particular, with a number of chances to add to, to Simon's goal. So they, they're now starting to get back uh, a few of the players who were injured at the start of the season. And I, I can see them, um, if they keep them fit, they will not be far away at the end of the season, you know, but I still uh, think it will be a difficult game for us. And every game we will play this season will be difficult, but we're into a little spell now. Hopefully keep our run going and um, a number of home games coming up, so that will be vital in our, our quest for our survival in the first division. Just finally, can you give us an injury update, particularly with Stephen Robertson and Paul Lovering? Um, Paul's had a little reaction. He played in that game against Rangers on Tuesday and he's had a little reaction from that. Um, but he's still... F be two or three weeks away, Paul, from being uh, ready to, to, to step into the team. Um, Stephen Robertson um, trained today, 
and I did a little bit of work with Stuart Kerr on, on Wednesday, so I would anticipate if there's no reaction from his, his workout today that uh, he'll be available to, to, to play in the game on Saturday. Thanks very much.